My name is Liv Wishart and I went to Davidson High School. My script is called Fence Wars. So my script is called Fence Wars because it's quite literally but also figuratively a war between two neighbours over a shared fence and a tree. One of the neighbours is quite um, blokey Australian and the other is quite prim and proper and slightly manipulative. <laughs> and then they drag in a trainee council worker to try and sort out the issues and chaos ensues. The idea of my script was sparked by something that happened between my family and my neighbours. We got new neighbours and one morning I woke up and a chunk of our hedge had been chopped off. When I finally got the idea for the script it took a while but I talked to my teacher a lot about the script and what I should do with style and dialogue and character voice, all of that, so that was really helpful. <laughs> My script writing process was quite up and down. Sometimes I had a lot of inspiration to do it and then sometimes I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so the first draft kind of just, I got it on the page and then explored it with my teacher and my class and the second draft was editing that with their feedback and yeah I just kept on repeating that cycle until I got to the final draft. It, it really helped to go through the dialogue and workshop my script in class because then I could really see if the true character voice was brought out through my um, writing or not and then I could edit it to make sure it did. The dramatic language I used to create a sense of theatricality on stage was like slang and abbreviations to suit the dialogue of each character and really bring out their character voice which in turn will bring out the theatricality in the comedy. Feedback was a really important part of the script writing process. It just really helped me with editing the script and making new drafts and get it from where it started to where it ended. <laughs> I had a lot of issues with stage directions at first and my teacher and my peers in class, they all helped me like chop off all the unnecessary bits that I didn't need, so it was really useful. The role my teacher played in <laughs> helping with my script, um, she really was, we had lots of really long conversations um, about my script and just spurting out ideas and exchanging stories on like the council or neighbours that were relevant to my script. Liv obviously came in with an idea of, of it evolving from the personal experience of her neighbours. Um, so we had long discussions and what I think came about was that, that her topic was so rich and so relevant. So many people have got issues with the council concerning trees, rubbish, their neighbours. So I think the other thing that, that Liv was particularly good at was researching. If I ended up directing her in a particular way to research, she did it. So I feel that Liv was true to herself and created a work that she could genuinely be proud of. I helped her, but it was very much her idea and her concept. Liv, to her credit, persevered and got those last drafts up, those last refining moments. I treated the script work the same as the girls doing the monologues so that it was performed and read by other Year 11 students or Year 10 students or Year 12 students in class and that act of having it constantly heard and visualised on stage kept Liv on track so that she had a theatrical vision. It wasn't writing for film or TV, it was all the time focusing back onto the mechanics of it working on stage. Just that persistent effort that gets you there. And I think um, whether it's performance monologue or script writing, having it um, performed and being able to see it as a working, living process just doesn't get there. It is something that has to grow. One of the challenges was definitely motivation to continue working on my script, especially once I got to trials and we had under a term left. I had been working on it for so long and I just didn't want to think about it anymore. Looking back, I really wish that I had focused more on the research at the start of the task because my first few drafts were just a bit of the and <laughs> I hadn't really done the research so my teacher really forced me to do that in the later drafts and really incorporate it into the script so I think that's a really important thing you should do at the start. <laughs> 
Some advice I give if you'd want to go into script writing for HSC drama is to <laughs> not stress too much about coming up with an idea if you're not sure at the start because it will come to you and just try and be inspired by everyday things or things that happen in your life at the time and work on time management skills <laughs> because they're really important and you're doing the project over a long time but once you hand it in it'll be worth it. So.